What's up, family? Diddy, the CEO of newly minted Love Records, went on The Breakfast Club this morning to spread a little love to Kanye West. Gave him his full support, defended him amidst the criticism he's receiving for going all the way to Paris just to wear a White Lives Matter shirt at Paris Fashion Week. He did this with his fellow Cooney. Candace Owens. Okay, so did he praise Kanye for being a free thinker and said he didn't intend to criticize him as a person? He also called out the controversial t-shirt as unwanted noise and tone deaf. See, fam, let me explain something to you. You either with me or you against me. In matters of racism, there is no straddling the fence. In matters of making moves and statements that would have one of these wackos out here to justify their mistreatment of black people. There is no forgiveness for that. Then he called Kanye a free thinker. I vehemently opposed that sentiment. He sounds more like a slave to me. He behaves more like a slave to me. A guy who is free and don't even know he's free. He's sitting on, they say, a billion dollars or so. And he still operates like he has a master, like he has to get the approval of his master. He purposely wore that shirt to offend black people. So he went out of his way to wear that shirt to offend black people because he knew it would offend black people. When's the last time he did that to offend Massa? When's the last time he went out of his way to offend Massa? If he's such a free thinker, why didn't he wear a Black Lives Matter shirt? Oh, for you Hispanics that love him so much, why didn't he wear a Hispanic Lives Matter shirt? Why? because this dude loves his white masters. He love them. All of his heroes are white. With all of these historical black figures, past and present, who have done such great things, have contributed so much greatness to society, he can't find one to put on his top five. Kanye West is like that brother who has a sister being abused by her boyfriend, but because he hustles with the boyfriend and he gets opportunity from the boyfriend, he allows the boyfriend to beat on his sister. Kind of like what the government does with poor black people who receive government assistance. They'll give you government assistance. Then at the same time, they'll shake you down to get the money back by allowing police officers to pull you over and hit you with trumped up charges, tickets. You see, they overly patrol black neighborhoods where people who, who don't really have the money to pay for these uh, violations, these traffic violations and things uh, that they come up with, you see? So they'll call themselves helping you on one hand. Kanye will give you that music that you love to hear. He might say some inspiring words. 
stroke a check to some type of nonprofit. And that's where he got you. Because as soon as he does something for you, whatever it is, you give him a pass for anything he does after that, any wickedness that he participates in after that, not me. So he wears the, the White Lives Matter shirt. And obviously, what's understood don't have to be said. This is why we said Black Lives Matter, because we know Black Lives Matter, but it just seems that when certain people commit crimes against black people, there is no justice for black people. This is for all you dummies out there who say, well, black lives matter every time a black person kills a black person. Well, okay, oh, black lives matter, huh? Oh, black lives really matter. I guess black lives don't matter at all. So super dummies, super dummies, listen up, dummies. When black people harm other black people and the police find out about it, that black person usually pays for their crime. When it's done within the system, where you have people that are getting a check, getting a check stroke by the system, or even just really white people in general, often, oftentimes, justice is denied. Even when you look at these, these courts, how they're rigged, the grand, the clan juries, how they're rigged, a lot of cases don't even make it to court based on race. Or a lot of cases will make it, other cases will make it to court based on race. Because the clan jury is predominantly white in every single part of this country. Every single uh, jurisdiction Every district, the game is rigged. That's why we say Black Lives Matter. And they came up with the White Lives Matter as an opposition to Black Lives Matter. That was the problem. So it's like when Kanye and Kundis go put the shirts on, it's like, ha, 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 they laugh and make a mockery of Black people pain. It's like a slap in the face. And then you have these black people who will make excuses for them. A lot of black people in entertainment still want to kick it with Kanye. Why? Because he has something that he can give them. That's opportunity. Perhaps he can make a beat for them. You know, perhaps he's going to invite them to his old weirdo ass party or something. They want something from him. So this is why they continue to support him because I can bet you a dollar to a donut. If Kanye West was Brian West or anybody else, somebody who didn't have a big name, who couldn't give people opportunities, someone that nobody wanted anything from, they would destroy him. Hell, if Kanye was white, they'd be all over him. I can guarantee you Diddy wouldn't be talking like he talking. Diddy, Diddy would be like, man, that fool, man. Him and all the other black people that support Kanye West, all the other black celebrities that support Kanye West. If Kanye West was white and doing the exact same things that he do, they wouldn't be messing with him like that. If Donald Trump put on a a White Lives Matter shirt, what you think would happen? All those same celebrities who still sticking by Kanye West, what do you think would happen? See, fam, you're either with me or you're against me. There is no gray area. No more talk. What the haters talking about?